What is up, ladies and gents? How's it going? This is Matt DeTomato right here, and I would normally say that this is part 12 of the Prison Architect playthrough here with the female prison, except decided to go for a bit of a in-the-middle escape mode, because I wanted to showcase um, exactly how good the axe is. Um, I mentioned the axe before when I was uh, first building the forestry, and uh, I kind of want to showcase it a little bit here because it is so overpowered. And in this particular situation here, where obviously we've got the guards just starting to use tasers, um, I think that uh, this would be the perfect time to showcase, with a, with a pile of uh, guards that don't have tasers, that the axe can single-handedly bring down an entire prison. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into escape mode here. Um, also, it gives us a chance to actually look at the... Uh, look at the prison and look at how we're actually going to be getting on with this prison. Um, because of course um, we can uh, we can take a look at how we would actually do um, if we were trying to escape from this prison. So uh, it'll see maybe how some of our security things are working out here, um, how we're actually doing in terms of um, sort of areas to escape from. So beforehand we identified a few potential areas we could get through, uh, most notably the workshop at the top here, or maybe busting through the staff room to get out that way. I think that would be fairly straightforward, but. Um, I want to make it to that forestry, and I want to uh, I want to showcase how good the axe is here. Um, so uh, we're currently in lockup here. I was thinking about maybe just bashing down the shower just there, um, but actually I think I want to maybe go out into the yard and beat up some of these weights benches or something just to uh, get ourselves some reputation early on here. Right, so let's rock on out of here. So of course with the door servos and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> actually, there's quite a lot of guards out there. Um, actually, let's go to. Actually, I've gone to the wrong place here. Uh, I think the classroom might be better. But as we can see here, none of these guards have uh, tasers or anything like that. So uh, although we have a guard in here, just going to wait for that dog to go past. Here we go. Right. So let's get ourselves some reputation. So it's very easy, of course, because they don't have tasers. It's extremely easy to, uh, to run away from guards uh, at this particular point in time. So you can imagine here, if I was armed with an axe, uh, actually how strong this could potentially be. Uh, because uh, when you are extremely deadly and you've got the uh, you've got the axe, uh, you can actually just one shot guards. Um, and so, well, basically, uh, we would be one shotting all of these guys, and it would be kind of scary, actually, if I'm honest. Um, just pushing through here. Uh, I've just given the workmen a chance to come in here and actually fix half of these desks, but they haven't. So. Uh, yeah, uh, as I'm slowly getting mauled by this dog here, uh, just pick up a bunch of reputation. There we go. Perfect. Right. Uh, we'll go skill fighter deadly. That'll do. So we're actually uh, quite strong at this particular point in time already, uh, which is great. Of course, in the escape mode, you can see there's a bunch of uh, minimum security prisoners kicking around here as well. Uh, I'm specifically after the hammer at this point in time, uh, and I'm going to try and bust through that door over there. So uh, what I want to do is I want to nick the keys. Oh god, the dog actually mauled me to death quite easily there. Jesus Christ, uh, we need to toughen up a little bit more here. But uh, I'd like to get over to the, the forestry. We'll go for the axe and we'll see how we can do. Uh, yeah, I got um, pretty pretty, pretty well done for there, to be quite honest, uh, in that particular scenario. Uh, cheers for opening the door there. Uh, now I'm hoping I can beat this. Uh, there we go, we're in. Right, there's the axe. Okay, so... Uh, we're obviously not going to be able to deal epic damage straight away here, but long story short, there we go, bam, that dog is dead. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, were you in the way? Oh, mate, there we go. Um, oh, I picked up the hammer by mistake, I've ditched the axe, that was a terrible thing to do. Uh, pick up the axe again, fantastic, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, and basically at this point, as long as you stay fairly... Um, on top of yourself here, you're kind of untouchable at this point um so i would be able to most definitely i would definitely be able to escape at this point so as you can see here there we go i am actually out of here and i could escape but i'd like to actually just bring the prison down if possible um so i'm going to continue killing here um not quite one shotting these guys uh oh, i just killed that visitor actually so i'm not quite one shotting the guards just yet but i will be uh fairly soon because uh, if i can go to extremely deadly uh, extremely skilled fighter and whatnot, but yeah, so there we go. This is how OP this all is. Just able to absolutely butcher everything here. It's just absolutely overpowered. So without, obviously without tasers, this whole thing is just so OP. 
Bear in mind we're outside the prison at this point here as well. Like, I'm not even inside the prison. Uh, make sure we kill the doctor so no one can get fixed. Um, oh. It, it's, it's just bloodbath. And I'm not even at my full strength here because obviously I haven't improved everything. Oh. <laughs> it's just absolutely outrageous. Here's the other doctor. Goodbye. Make sure we kill all these guys. And long story short, you can just cause so much pandemonium just like this. <laughs> kill the doctor. <laughs> uh, there we go. Bam. Off you go. Uh, so what I could do is I could, in fact, break down all the doors here and uh, make sure that everybody can get out. Oh, it's just absolutely ridiculous as to how OP this is. Right, walk in here. Kill all the workmen, of course, so they can't fix anything. Can I kill the delivery driver? Yep, there we go. Kill the delivery driver. That way, that truck is now stuck there. Oh... <laughs> oh, I got mauled by the dog. So I wasn't paying attention. So unfortunately, obviously, I lost that one there. But the amount of guards I just killed, absolutely ridiculous. The amount of death I have just caused. And absolutely everyone is cranky here. Everyone is really, really pissed. There we go. Now everyone's just taken over. Uh, managed to nab some keys there. A few people got a little bit... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, just trying to find the axe here. Um, there's the spade. Oh, just hammered you to death. There it is. <laughs> oh, kill the doctor. She's healing everybody. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And at this point, it just doesn't matter how many guards they send. As long as I keep uh, keep my concentration, there is nothing that any of these guys can do. even kill them before they get in. Look at that. You just constantly. And there's nothing, nothing they can do. Right, I might actually, uh, obviously we've got the armory, so uh, we could potentially attempt to bust into the armory. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we are. Bust in through there. <laughs> Create a way out there. Oh! We took a hit there. Right, I'm going to head towards the... Uh, head towards the armory, if at all possible. And, uh, well, let's see how we get on here. We're obviously going to be attacked quite readily in this particular situation because there's going to be a lot of guards by the armory. Obviously, you look like you were involved in some sort of scuffle before I even got here. And with a bit of luck. I will be able to break in here. Now, I am actually quite severely hurt here, but... Uh, that's purely because I'm obviously just getting attacked. Right, into the armory we go. And, uh, well, essentially, as long as I can bust down all these doors, which I kind of want to before I do so, I'm basically into the armory now. So, there we go. 
You can see here that how uh, even the solitary doors take a few hits, but to be honest with the, the power of the axe, it just doesn't matter. I can walk in here. Right, let's grab the uh, let's grab the sniper then. It's just so overpowered that axe. It's amazing. And there we go. I busted into the armory. I've got myself a sniper rifle now. I'm basically I can take people out at ridiculous range. <laughs> Take that. I can even shoot. Oh, all the way over there. Look at that. Bam. Oh. And there you go. That's that's just pretty much it. It, it just it's just so overpowered at this point. And uh, obviously, I, I've just been able to take down the entire prison. Just by going around with the axe. Right, no guards in here anymore. It's ridiculous. And so yeah, that this whole prison has now come to a complete halt. Oh, so it's currently sleepy mode, but uh, as soon as all these prisoners wake up, they're going to be so angry, and uh, we're just they're just going to bust out of here. Oh, ah, there you go. But there you go. That's generally it, basically. So it's it's just absolutely overpowered. Thank you. Oh, look at all those guards. That's so many guards. Jesus Christ. All I need is the keys. Can't get hold of the keys. There we go. What? Oh my God. I actually got caught there. So yeah, that's the general gist of it. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, obviously, I've got no cells anymore. I'll have to go into the holding cell here. Um, but it just took down everything. And obviously, I haven't even upgraded everything yet. Um, I'm literally just here. And uh, I was able to just take down all of the guards. And, uh, well, I could have escaped. I chose not to, of course. Um, right, just skip the punishment there. Right, so now I'm stuck in the holding cell, of course. Um but it's just absolutely amazing that uh, the, the amount of hell you can cause. Um, so there's a bunch of people here. Look at all these people. They're all getting really angry. There we go. I've just started a fight there. There's just so much fighting. Everyone's pissed. There we go. Excellent. Right. I'm looking for the uh, the axe once again here. Wherever the hell it is. Can't even bloody find it. Here it is. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So obviously, you've got to pay attention. You've got to make sure that you land your shots. You've got to make sure you don't get hit yourself. Uh, in that case there, you see, I accidentally hit the gardener. So I ended up taking a hit. So you just got to be careful. But in general, you can just one shot or it, like if, if you don't one shot them, you certainly knock them unconscious. Of course, if I was, if I had all of my upgrades, then I would be able to one shot these guys easy. Otherwise, absolute pandemonium. I'm able to just kill everybody. <laughs> it's just too easy. It's far too easy. I could have busted out of here ages ago, but obviously I didn't. Oh, I didn't one-shot him. That's very rare. That's because I'm not fully upgraded. I hit the cook there by mistake as well. Uh, here's the doctor. Make sure that you die. There we go. Uh, can't quite hit you just yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I 
Whoops, killed her by mistake. There we go. Um, but just like that, we've caused a riot. So, uh, chances are the riot police are going to be coming in here. Yep, here they come. Here come the riot police. Here they are. Uh, even the riot police guys, you can take on. And uh, you can subsequently kill them as well. It's just it's just really, really easy. See, and now I'm super tough. There we go. If I go for all of the modifiers, there are currently 25 prisoners rioting. <laughs> all these new guards coming in here. 27 prisoners rioting at this point in time. It's absolute chaos. Don't know how uh, successful they're going to be. Obviously, I'm now completely fully upgraded. And now that I'm fully upgraded, I can one-shot every single guard. There we go. Every single time, one-shot every single guard. It's as simple as that. I can ditch, ditch the baton here. There we are. Even the uh, even the riot guys, I can, uh, can one-shot them as well. Um, but I'm just able to completely destroy everything there's, st there's still 20 prisoners rioting there's still lots going on here it might be worth grabbing a set of keys here and it's, it's just a nightmare so let's go in kill the uh kill the foreman kill the chief kill the warden of course he has a calming effect on prisoners so uh so there's only 13 prisoners rioting now uh, there's a guard walking along here. Stab you in the back. There we go. Right, where are the... Uh, there's the rioters. It's just absolute nightmare. I don't know where the riot police are. There's riots going on left, right and centre down here. You're attacking people with a broom. I don't know what's happening, but it's just chaos. Absolute chaos. All caused by an axe. <laughs> I have no idea where the riot police actually are. Uh, if I could find them, I could demonstrate on them as well, but... Um, it's just absolutely incredible. Here they are, and there we go. So you can't necessarily one-shot the uh, the riot police, but um, you can you can attack them and you can take them out pretty comprehensively. I didn't mean to kill you. Didn't mean to kill you either. But uh, here we go. Here with the uh, the cards. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And half of this has been completely rioted out. Uh, the riot police, half of the riot police are in there. They're all dead. Uh, anybody else around? There's not many guards left. There's just, it's just mayhem. Uh, uh, here's one over here. There's one there as well. One shot you. One shot you. It's just too easy. And it's amazing. The, uh, the amount of devastation you can cause just with an axe. It's, it's incredible. Um, hello. There we go. And you can kill all the workmen. You could just cause an absolute riot. And there's nothing that anyone can do about it. Uh, it it's, it's just amazing. So I've caused a riot. Uh, no one's actually escaped. Take out the power whilst we're here. There we go. That's just going to cause even more chaos. See, all the workmen are just here. Uh, she was about to escape. But you can just sit here and kill all the workmen. No one's ever going to open that door. And that's it. Oh. One shot at you. Very nearly one shot at that one, but uh, the riot police just don't stand a chance. The regular guards stand absolutely no chance whatsoever. Um, I mean, we can try and bust in this way again. There we go. One shot him. One shot him. And obviously, then we're into the armory, so we could uh, we could nick whatever we wanted at that point. So. Um, Amazing. It really is. The power of the axe. I just killed a prisoner there. I didn't mean to, but uh, here's another member of the riot police just walking in here. I'm gonna kill him if possible. <laughs> there we go. More prisoners actually rioting at this point, which is kind of funny. But yeah, and that's, that's just it. Simple. More riot police have arrived. They're all coming after me, but they're not gonna they're not gonna do anything. Actually they don't really care about me, to be honest. But there you go. And that's it. An axe can bring down an entire prison. 
<laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing how that happens. And uh, obviously with the tasers and whatnot, um, it would be a lot harder. But uh, I just wanted to showcase that, that the, uh, the axe is just absolutely overpowered. It's amazing. That's why you don't let any prisoners near your forestry. Uh, obviously with the armory as well is the main place. But don't let your prisoners near the forestry. Seriously. And uh, yeah, no, that's brilliant. So that's been our latest. Cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Andy Tomato. In the next episode, we're going to continue building the prison as normal. Uh, but uh, be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for more Prison Architect here and our female prison. See you later.